say hello to a lot of you. Those I haven't, I'll, I'll probably get around to it as we go along. It's great to see you all back here. And I know we've had a few weeks off, but as you can see, I'm refreshed, re-enthused, re-energised, and as crazy as ever. So um, tonight, we're going to get back to basics, because when we set up the uh, Creating the Body, Health and Happiness group, it was in the run-up to Christmas, I think, 2020, if I remember rightly. And it was about an eight week running. So we thought we'd create this group to get our people who wanted to get in, you know, get loose, spit away and get in shape for Christmas. And then it went on for about two years. So uh, I've had a few weeks off, but we're back. And so we're going to get back to basics tonight. What we're going to do is going to get focused on how you want to be physically. And it's going to be different for all of us. You know, some of you might even want to put on some weight. But whatever you're thinking of doing, we're going to get ourselves focused on um achieving our goals how's your goal going andrew how are you getting on with yours i think uh basically i ruined it at the weekend when i was up in the retreat all right uh, so it's my I, fault, I suppose, yeah. i'm blaming you entirely i was i you know i must put about a stone on <laughs> And yeah. I was losing it so much, you know. But you're banned until you get down to you achieve the goal. Then you're not. Uh, there. Yeah, uh, that's true. But I, it was worth it. But I, I, I want to get back on target. Right, on, okay. I'll, you know, start again. Right. You know. So I don't know. Some of you might not might not not be here to achieve your physical goals, but that's what we're going to be fa uh, focusing on today. And if you're not thinking about in a way of you know weight loss or weight gain, I want you to think about it in. As, a, as from a point of view of being as well as you can be, as healthy as you can be. And so if you've got, if you have, and I, don't, I didn't ask you to do this before, if you've got a piece of paper there and a pen, get it out and let's write down what we want, what we want to achieve. Let's start by writing our goals down. So, but I want you to do this. When we start to write our goals down, I want you to put the word realistically out of your head. Because I have that so often when people come to see me, they say, you know, I, you know um, I'd love to be nine stone, but realistically, ten and a half would do, right? So put out the word realistic. I want you to write down whether it's weight gain weight, or weight loss or whether it's to put muscle on, whether it's to tone up or whether it's just to get healthier. I want you to put down the goal that you love to achieve. So make it a goal that's really exciting for you. And let go of any of your limitations here, because the one thing we know about our bodies is that we're an organism. And if we focus on what we want and make that decision and then commit to it, we can pretty much be whatever shape you want to be. And I know um, some of you are thinking, well, you know, I'm, I'm not 20 anymore. I'm not 30 anymore. What am I, what can I achieve? And maybe, but I honestly believe that for most of us, and I'm 70 now, so for most of us, we use that as an excuse. And it might be a good excuse, but it's still an excuse. I know from the neck up, I can't do much about it. From the neck down, I absolutely know I can have the body I had when I was 28, providing I want it badly enough. And so when it comes to our bodies, there are only two questions. And the first question is, how badly do I want to look or feel that good? That's the first question. How badly do I want that? And the second question is this. What am I willing to do to make that happen? Those are the only two questions. If you want this badly enough, whatever your goal is you're writing down at the moment, if you want that badly enough and you're willing to commit to it, and I'm going to get your head in the right place to this evening. You're willing to commit to it, then you can achieve it. And that I have no doubt over. So write down the goal, weight or weight or the body you'd love to achieve. You know, instead of thinking of it as weight loss or weight gain, that's what this group's about. It's about creating the body you want. Now, when I first started doing this group, and it, as I said, it was a couple of years ago now, um, it was kind of geared towards weight loss because that's what most people do when they think about hypnotherapy. And a friend of mine actually said to me, she said, look, it's much, why don't, you, why don't you think about creating the body you want? 
because who wants to lose anything? Very few of us want to lose anything. But to create something, I mean, that's, that's so much more exciting to think, how do I want to create my body? And then we've added happiness and uh, health and happiness to it. Because the whole things go together, don't they? You know, if we're, if we're feeling good, we're happier. And if we're feeling, if, we, if we're um, treating ourselves properly, then we're going to be healthier. So all of those things come together when we decide um, to, to create the body we want. Nolene's had a great, if you look at uh, Nolene, you're doing fantastic, aren't you? Yep. As you know, Freddie, I was crippled and I'm fantastic. Yeah, and how, and, and how much weight did you lose so far? I think I've lost about 14 kilos. Wow, it's fantastic. I lost 16 and I've gotten back to uh, 14 and I'm maintaining that. Right, and you, because it was a, you had a health problem, didn't you? Uh, massive inflammation. Right, and that, has that pretty much gone since you, since you created it's the totally body? gone. Like the specialist said I should have been dead at the inflammation markers I had. She couldn't believe I was still moving. And um, through the 29 days that I did with you, I recovered. Fantastic. You know, uh, and it, that's kind of testimony to... Yeah. Uh, let's give it a round of applause, yeah, because that is testimony to the power of our mind over our body. Yeah. You know, I'm just reading... Well, not reading, because I fall asleep if I read, but I'm listening to this book called Beyond Pills and Potions. It's a very, very good book, written by a... Um, a surgeon, an MD in, um, in America. And he's saying about the medical world and the curses that they give out without knowing. Yeah. You know, by saying, you're not going to be stuck with this information forever. You've got to get used to it. You know, this, you, you've got to live with it. These, what they don't know is their suggestions to people. They don't understand the power of their suggestions. When they walk in a room and they got a white coat on, you're already in a kind of emotional state because you're, you know, you're, you're there because you're not very well. And then the doctor or the surgeon says something, which is, you know, you're never going to recover from this. Like the lady came to see me at fibromyalgia, whose doctor told her that she wouldn't die from fibromyalgia, but she would die with it. I mean, how's that for a curse from a doctor? So, you know, we 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 have to. And I know a lot of you here are therapists. We have to be very aware of the words we use because they're super powerful. Um, one, of the other th one of the other things he said, his mother had colon cancer and the prognosis for how long she's going to live was very poor. But she said they went to see this surgeon who's going to do this operation. And the surgeon walked in his white coat. He said, I think he said he was a Japanese doctor. And he kind of stopped, stunned. He looked at her and he went, you're a survivor. And then he said, let's get on with this. That was that, that moment. And she, he said, she's still alive 10 years later because that was the suggestion. You're a survivor. You're a survivor, Nolene. You know, you're an My specialist has said that I'll get sick again and it will return because it was against her belief system. Well, you know what you need to say, don't you? Yeah, it's not doing it. Just no, just say, Freddie says I can oh. be well. I, I, there's a lot of people walking around with that in their head. I say, look, if anyone says to you, you can't do this, you can't do that, just say, Freddie says I can. If they say, who's Freddie? Yeah. I don't know who Freddie is. Freddie says I can, right? But just do that. Just say it. Well, and, I'm such uh, a stubborn bugger. I just go, bugger that. I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I know you're from Tasmania. Do you consider yourself, is that Australia then? Do you consider that? As oh, yes, yes. Yeah. So you're Australian, even though you're from Tasmania. You're a yes, that's Tasmaniac. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, there's another. There's another lady in uh, Australia, Lisa Derwin. Her name is. Yeah. And you might yeah. have heard her. She's been in our groups. She's fabulous. But she has this. You know that that. Uh, some, they've recently been calling it the imposter monster. That voice in your head, which is mm. saying you're not any good at this. You're not any good at that. You can't do this. You can't do that. You're not going to survive it. Whatever it is, that negative voice. She has this most brilliant answer to it, which she uses. And it's typically Australian. Whenever a voice goes off in their head, you can't do this. You can't do that. She says, and I can't do it in an Australian accent, but she says, that's bullshit. 
ways. Yeah. So she, her answer to any of those negative voices in her head, when she when that voice goes off, I can't do this, I can't do that, she just says, that's bullshit. And then wipes that negative thought out. So yeah, it's just a nice way of dealing with it. So anyway, getting back to our bodies and how we're going to create them. So the first thing to do is to write down, if you can, or set an exciting goal, something that's going to get your juices flowing, something that's going to make you forego that piece of cake, right? That's going to get you working towards your inner being. And then the second thing is to put a time on it. Because for a goal to be achievable, two things have to be in place. It has to be exciting. It has to be time bound. I often have people say, I want to I want to lose some weight at some point in the future. That's never going to happen. It has to be time bound. So if you are looking to lose some weight, then look at losing it at about two pound a week because I still work in. So maybe about a kilo a week. So the way to work out your date to achieve your goal, if you want to lose weight, is to think of it in, um, let's say you've got 20 pounds to lose. Then you look at that, you halve that, gives you 10 weeks. That gives you 10, that's 10 weeks to lose the weight, which is, what, um, two and a half months, isn't it? Yeah, so two, 10 weeks, two and a half months. So you think about where we are now, say the beginning of August, so August, September, October, the middle of October, write down a memorable date to achieve goal. You write that down and then you put that, put that to one side. Okay, so now you've got an exciting goal and you've got a, a, a time to achieve it. That's going to make you get up in the morning and do what you need to do. And then I want you to, if you can, if you've got a piece of paper there, otherwise don't worry, but write down as many reasons to create the body you want but they must all start with I will or I can. So each of those reasons must start with I will or I can. I will feel great. I will look great. I will live longer. I'll be able to wear the clothes I want. I'll, whatever it is, but they must start off with, with I will and I can. And as you're writing down those reasons, I want you to get a clear picture in your head of the outcome. See yourself having achieved that goal. And again, let go of any limiting beliefs, any negative thoughts, because... Once you set your mind on this, and we're going to set it tonight, you'll find yourself moving toward it automatically. All right, so write down those few reasons. I will or I can. I can do, I can play with my kids. I can be around for my daughter. I blah, 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 blah. Will or I can, okay, write them down. And then now you've got an exciting goal. It's time bound. And you've got four or five positive reasons to achieve it. And as Tony Robbins said, if you can find a big enough why to, you can always find a how to. Mike Mandel, you know, the brilliant hypnotherapist in Canada, he puts it another way and he asks his clients, are you at threshold? In other words, are you at that point where you're absolutely going to do this? And it is important for us as human beings to be at that point. I've seen so many people that come to see me and I say, you know, my husband thinks I look better a stone lighter. My doctor says I should lose some weight. My doctor says I should quit smoking. That's not a good enough reason. Unless you want this, it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. Unless you've come to that point in your life, where you've, you've absolutely made that decision, because once you get to that point and you step over that threshold, you can pretty much achieve anything. I have many people say, I'm fed up with living like this. I ask the question, are you fed up enough to do whatever it takes to make those changes? That's the question. And it doesn't matter to me what weight you are, because you know how I feel about all of you, you're already the most incredible creation. Exactly as you are sitting in that chair right now, you are already the most incredible creation. Every single one of you 
are beautiful. And I mean that about all of you. I mean that about you, Chris. I mean that about you, Greg. And I mean that about you, Willie. Every one of you are a beautiful being. You're already a whole being. You're already the most incredible creation. You don't have to be anything else. But if you think you want to feel better or stronger or you want to feel more confident, if that is the thing that goes along with getting the body you want, if you're a therapist and you're going to be helping people and you think for me to be sitting in the therapy chair and being absolutely um, honest and authentic, I need to be looking after my own body. And I think that's important. I'm not saying that we have to have the perfect body to do this work. But if you're not happy the way you are at the moment, then it kind of it, is kind of on you to be working toward at least doing something toward being the, having the body you want. This is just my thinking on it. Some of you will see people, you'll see therapists. And they say, I can help you do this. I can help you do that. They say, I can help you quit smoking. At the same time, they've got an ashtray full of dog ends beside them. There's a lack of credibility when that happens. It's the same when you see somebody, I can help you achieve and create the body you want, when you know they're sitting there not creating the body they want. So just from a therapy point of view, and I'm not saying, I'm honestly not saying we need to be perfect. And as you can tell, and people who know me know I'm a million miles from that. But we should be at least be doing our utmost to be the best we can be. Whatever that is. But we should at least be doing, doing our utmost to be the best we can be. If you've got fears and anxieties, then let them go. If you know they're irrational, find somebody that will help you. And say, okay, let's let go of this stuff. If you're trying to create the body you want, then find somebody that's on your side to do it. And I'm here anyway. So we're going to be doing this on a, on a Friday. And it's my goal to help all of you who want to create the life you want. And that includes physical and emotional and spiritual and all the other stuff. Because this is, you know, the whole thing, isn't it? It's not just one aspect of your life. If I, if I create the body I'm, I, I want, then I'm going to be happy. You know, it's, it's a whole thing. But once we, once we start, we look at other aspects of our life that we're not happy about and go, what do I need to do? What's the first thing I need to do here? And really the first thing is to ask yourself the question, how badly do I want this? What am I willing to do to make it happen? Whether that's a career goal or whether it's a physical goal. How many people sit watching Love Island and look at those bodies on those guys on Love Island and going, oh, I'd love to have a body like that. And while they're thinking that, they're sitting with a bag of crisps and a beer. And oh, I'd love to have that body. There's no way. You know, but we, we so, so many of us, you know, do that. Instead of thinking, okay, if I want it badly enough, and I'm, I'm imagining, because I know most of you, you're loved as you are. So this is not going to come from outside of ourselves. This is not going to come from your partner, because your partner probably loves you and loves you the way you are. This has to be, how do I feel when I look in the mirror? How do I feel when I get out of bed in the morning? How do I feel when I'm clothes shopping? How do I want to be for my grandchildren? my great grandchildren, how well do I want to be? And then we get into this. So tonight, as I say, now you've written down your goals and it's time bound. I want you to make a commitment to yourself. Sign that piece of paper like it's a contract to yourself. Say, this I am going to do. Make that commitment to yourself and sign that piece of paper. No one else has to see it. But now you've written down your goals. And something happens. They've done this. A psychologist and the researchers have looked into this. When you're writing down your goals, 
for some reason, committing those goals to paper, you are forming new neural pathways in your mind toward making it happen. So now you've got an idea of where you want to be, all of you. So the first thing we're going to do is this. I'm not going to hypnotise you yet. Right? I know some of you are really eager. I'm not going to hypnotise you yet, but I want you all to do this. Just put your paper and pen down, sit comfortably, take a deep breath in, hold it for a moment, and as you breathe out, just allow your eyes to close. That's right. Now I want you to do this. I want you to go out into the future to that date you've written on that paper or you've set in your mind, and I want you to see yourself having achieved that physical goal you're after tonight. See it clearly. See it in the way you move. Notice the way you move, the energy, that feeling of achievement. Step into your body in that future self. Step into it and feel into it, completely feel into it. Get a sense of what it feels like to have created the body you want. Get a sense of that now. Notice the way you move and breathe. Get a sense of that completely. And now ask this question, how much fun is it? How much fun can I make this? How important is it for me? And get a sense of how much fun it is. Feel into it, really get a sense of that. How much fun is it? How much fun can I make it? How important is it for me? And put that into the back of your mind now. And then when you're ready, just open your eyes. Okay. You know, as human beings, we are geared toward pleasure. We're geared towards, we want to feel good. We want to feel good. We want to you know, have that, be happy, you want all those good feelings. So now that you know how good you're going to feel, and I can see on Chris's face, that was a pretty good outcome by the look of it. I don't know what you were doing in that future self, but it looked like good fun, whatever it was. <laughs> so now you felt into it and you've asked that question, you've got a feeling how much fun it's going to be, then everything about your nature is now geared toward making it happen. Because you know, in the back of your mind, you know how much fun it's going to be. You know, I've, I'm, I'm on, a, I'm on a, a mission myself, and I've been doing some weight, um, bench weights. And if you've ever done bench weights, and I'm sure you saw some of you have done any kind of exercise where you're going to have to put a bit of effort in. Normally, when I've got my bench, when I'm on my bench weights, even before I've lifted it, I put my hands on the rail, then I pull this face. Like it's really going to hurt, you know, because it, it, you, you're waiting, you're preparing yourself. So you pull that place. I've changed that now because now I know what my outcome is going to be. I know how much fun it's going to be. So this is what I do, right? It's, it's completely different. You put your hands on the rail and you do this. Right? I look like a maniac on that machine. If anyone saw me, they think he's completely mad, which I am, of course. But now I smile before I lift. I get that picture in my head and I think, yeah, that's going to be fun. You know, to be 70 years old and, and be completely ripped and look and feel incredible just for the hell of it. Because I've seen some of the guys I went to school with. I know what they're like. You know, so I, it's just the thought. No one else gives two monkeys, I'm sure. But in my mind, it's going to be good fun. So it pushes me. The thing is, once we... Once we once we realise how much fun it's going to be, you don't have to get motivated every day. You know, if you're thirsty, you don't need Tony Robbins to come along. Come on, let's go and have a drink. No, you're thirsty. You're just naturally inclined to go and get yourself a drink. If you're hungry, you don't need some great motivator. Come on, let's go and have something to eat. No, you're geared toward it because you just naturally in, look. You enjoy eating when you're hungry. And now you've got an idea of how, how good you're going to feel. You won't have to get motivated because everything about you is inclined toward it. That's the way this works. So 
I could give you all kinds of, because we're all here, it's different. All our goals are different. I once ran a group, this was years ago, maybe 20 years ago, um, for goal setting and motivation and, and all that kind of stuff. I had a room of maybe 200 people. And um, I said to them, I said, I want you to do this. I want you all to take your shoes off and just pass them to the person on your left, right? Take your shoes off, pass them to the person on the left. I said, now I want you all to put those shoes on that have just been passed to you. And of course, everyone kind of laughed. It's ridiculous. I said, yeah, it's absolutely right. Because the chances of that person sitting next to you, the chances of their feet being the same size, never mind the style of shoe suiting you, is so remote. But yet we think we're all pigeoned into the same, we've got to have the perfect body, we've got to have this kind of body. That's not the way this is. Each one of you are as individual as the shoes you're wearing. And each of you will have a different goal. But the way this is geared is that you're, you're going to do this. I don't need to give you diets. I've known most of you for a long time now. And I, purely because you're here, you're some of the most intelligent people on this planet. You must be because you've joined this group. So you already know what you need to be doing. Most of you know what you're doing wrong. If you're, if you're, if it's, if it's, uh, you're eating the wrong way. I don't need to tell you that. No, some, most of you are therapists. You're teaching other people how to do this. But it's just about saying, I'm going to treat myself to the body I want, I'm going to treat myself with the same kindness and love that I want for my clients. Now, when you have your clients, and I'm sure, because it's the same for me, that person in that room is everything for you for that hour or an hour and a half you're with them. And you want them to be happy and you want them to be, you know, it's, that's why you do the job. You know, and so, but sometimes we don't treat ourselves with the same amount of kindness. We are going to get back to where we were before we, we, we had that break, which is feeling into a feeling of unconditional self-love, which for me is also the most important thing we can have our, get our clients to feel into. Because if you don't have that unconditional self-love, why would you bother to treat yourself to the body you want? Why would your client bother to quit smoking? Why would your, your client bother to be the best they can be if they don't have any kind of love for themselves? So at some point this evening, you are all going to experience that. And I'm going to get it because I'm a hypnotist. You have no choice. You came here. Hard luck. I'm going to get it. So you leave, this, leave here tonight with that feeling of unconditional self-love you're all worthy of it. And once we feel into this, I know for me, I know um, my life changed when that happened. You know, and most of us in England, as I said before, were brought up, you know, you're not allowed to blow your own trumpet. Look at him. Look at him. He loves himself. Look at her, she loves herself. What he should be saying is how incredible. He loves himself. How wonderful. She loves herself. And the other thing about when you find an unconditional self-love is you're never not loved. Think about that. If you have an unconditional self-love, you're never not loved. You can take that feeling into everything. And the other thing about that is, you know, if you have a friend that you love and they put on a couple of pounds over the weekend, you don't stop loving them. If you have a friend that you love and they make a mistake, you don't stop loving them. Yet when we do those things, we beat ourselves up terribly. If you have an unconditional self-love, you're a little bit easier on yourself. That doesn't mean you just stop creating a life you want but it does mean it's not beating yourself up when in those moments when we're human and we fail at something or we make a mistake 
or in my case, do something stupid, you know, we'd stop beating yourself up over it and our lives change. I know for me it did. And then you can say, okay, how do I absolutely want to be? How bad do I want it? And there is a reason for me. I mean, I, I've got this goal and I'll tell you about it and then you can all hold me accountable. Back in 2011, my um, granddaughter, Beth, I think she was 18 at the time. So she's, yeah, she was 18 at the time. So she must be like 20, 28 or um, 29 coming up or something like that. But uh, I wrote a book called The Jack Wynn Rope Workout. If any of you want it, you just have to message me and I'll send it to you. It's out on Amazon, but I'll send you the PDF so you don't have to buy it. How to get super toned on a single piece of rope, right? Just using your own, your own body weight and using your body as a lever. How to get toned. And it's, uh, it's been out and I still think it's a good book. But I want to make that as a video with audios. And I thought about it and I thought about hiring some hench 20 year old to do the videos and I thought no <laughs> I'm going to do it myself and to do the videos myself I have to get my body right there's no point in me going on there unless I've got my body 100% and that's my goal and it's going to be aimed at kind of specifically 50 50 plus 50 to infinity you know and because I think there's nothing out there for People my age generally were kind of written off to be able to give that to people and show people that no matter what your age you are, you don't have to go to the gym, you don't have to buy a load of expensive um, equipment. If you focus and you use this rope exercise, you can tone your body at home. And so anyway, that's my goal. That's the reason for getting myself. That's another reason for getting myself where I want to be. So find a big enough reason for you. And some of it will just be because you're, you're getting into your therapy world and you want to be able to sit in your therapy chair and say, I can help you achieve what you want. And you want to be able to say that hand on heart, knowing that you are walking the walk and living that life yourself. So that's what we're going to do this evening. I'm going to get your head in exactly the right place to make these changes. You already know exactly what you need to do. At some level of awareness and consciousness, you already know what you need to do. And all I'm going to do this evening is get your conscious mind, that twiddly little bit of your being that thinks it is you, I'm going to get it out of the way. I'm going to distract it, walk it out of the room, tell it a story, do something to get it out of the way. So your unconscious mind the part that knows exactly who you are and has the ability to make the changes, is going to hear everything I say. It's going to take from it what's needed for you to get started. And that's the big step, isn't it? You know, yeah, I do want to start, but the weekend's coming up. I'm going out tomorrow night, going for a meal. I'll wait, maybe do it Sunday. Oh, yeah, Sunday, it's big breakfast morning. No, I'll leave it till Monday. You know, it's getting started. Most of us never get started. I remember reading this book by a guy called um, Zig Ziglar. Um, it was, I think it's called See You at the Top. It's a great book. He's, he's one of those proper old 1970s motivational guys. And um, he, said, he said, I wanted to lose some weight. So he said, I went to a doctor and the doctor gave me this, this program. He said, we're all going to lose, um, I forget what it was, four ounces a day or something. He said, it seems so easy. I didn't start for until the first month. You know, it's, it's, well, it's that's so easy, I'll just put it off for a month. We need to get started. Make a commitment today to start. Whatever it is you've written down, whether it's to put on weight, whether it's to lose weight, whether it's to tone up, whether it's to be healthier, and I'm going to aim everything at you today. You know, uh, early on today, I did a session for the College of Medicine and we were, walk, we were talking about allergies and getting our body right for, for allergies and to eliminate its allergies. But I'm going to aim the same kind of thing at you tonight to get your body working in its best state for you 
to create the body you want, okay? And all you have to do is absolutely nothing. It's the joy of it. Listen to me if you want, but I don't mean this rudely. I'm not interested in your conscious mind. Your conscious mind, you've tried to do this consciously, most of you, and it hasn't happened. This is an unconscious process that's running. Your unconscious mind, every cell, every molecule of your body will hear what I've got to say. And it will take from it what's needed for you to create that life you want. Whatever that might be. All right. So are there any questions before we get into this tonight? Anything? No? I want you all to hold me accountable. I reckon eight weeks from now, so that's September, beginning of October, I want to be making that video. You can all hold me accountable. You can say, how are you getting on, Freddie? Where's the body you promised us? Where's those photos that you were going to send everybody? Don't laugh, Tess, you're getting one. <laughs> but... You know, hold me accountable. I'm going to do the same for you, all right? Because we're going to be coming back and be brave enough to come back and let us know what, what's happened over these next weeks or so, right? And we'll keep each other accountable. So let's all work together on this. You know, as a collective, there's great power in this collective here, this group. You know, we felt it before. You know, some of you have been doing this for some months, and I'm sure that some of you feel like you know each other by now and you've never met. I know Doreen, she's like my next door neighbour, yet we've never met in the physical realm. I was lucky enough to meet Petra in the real world a couple of weeks back. You know, that was really good. And, for, you know, to meet Elaine and all the other people that come on this retreat. People I've, I've seen forever and not met. I've got Diane, Diana Love the Fabregas coming on, on one of the, oh, that'd be great. You know, and I can be, I can, I can be rude to her in real life be fantastic so uh anyway let's get into this tonight know you're amongst friends here lose yourself as i say listen to me if you want i'm not interested in your conscious mind so if you're ready to do this get yourself comfortable make sure you're not sitting anywhere dangerous like on a windowsill or something 20 stories up with a cup of hot coffee in your lap make sure you're in a safe place not that you better tell anyone about it anyway, so it made no difference. <laughs> all right, good to see you, Chris. Hope you're enjoying all this stuff. Nice to see you, Kay. Monet, good to see you. Becky, nice to see you. I believe you're I believe that uh Jess is threatening to come back for an next retreat as well. Are you, are you coming with yeah, her or probably. not? Yeah, she probably, yeah, she does want to. She would, she would want, she wanted to come to all of them, didn't she? But she's buzzing yeah. about all over the place. She's going to do a presentation for us, I believe. I did a, a workout tonight. They're with Amanda, Amanda King, and Jess uh, online. Yeah. All right. Good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, hopefully, I'll see you again sometime, Becky. Yeah. Right, everyone, get yourselves comfortable, and. Uh, Lose yourself for a while, okay, in my voice. Come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. No, that's the end of my singing tonight, all right? But just lose yourself with me tonight. Let's get into this. So when you're ready, take a deep breath in. Hold it for a moment. Feel the love in the room. And when you, let you, when you release that breath, Allow your eyes to close. Only as quickly as you're ready to create the body you want. That's right. And just for a moment, focus on those tiny muscles around your eyes and allow those eyes to relax completely. Imagine having your temples massaged and your eyes are relaxing completely. Just for a while. Nothing bothers or affects you. Nothing disturbs you. Every word I say relaxes those eyes more and more. Get a sense of that happening automatically. 
And as you relax those eyes for a moment, think about the people you love, people that love you, you know, your friends, your family, maybe your pet. Think about that unconditional love that people have for you. Get a sense of that now. And as you do that, notice your eyes are so relaxed now, they just won't work. Imagine that's happened and there's nothing you can do about that. And when you realise that your eyes are so relaxed, they just won't work. You can test them and find it completely locked. Just for a while, that's right. Relaxing them even more now. Now, nothing bothers you, nothing affects you, nothing disturbs you. In a moment, I'm going to snap my fingers. And as you hear that sound, that feeling of relaxation around your eyes is going to flood down through your body like a bliss anesthesia. Every muscle, nerve and fibre relaxing you, taking you into that beautiful world, pure imagination. It's going to feel great, no matter how, how relaxed your body becomes. Your chair will support you. As you hear that sound, feel that feeling of relaxation just flooding down through your body. A mixture of relaxation, love, joy, freedom. Now. And feel yourself just drifting into that beautiful space. Just you and the sound of my voice. Remembering those other experiences of hypnosis you've had with me. How it's felt to sit and listen to my voice speaking to you. Remembering the sounds and the words, how it felt as you drifted into that beautiful space. Just dropping down deeper and deeper into that space. Imagine it's happening automatically and there's nothing you can do about that. Because with your eyes closed, you can continue to drift even deeper. Although at times you may be more aware of some things than you were before. The sound of my voice, the comfort of your chair, maybe the temperature in the room, the sounds outside the room, certain sensations, the beating of your heart, and the thoughts and images that drift into the mind automatically. For a moment, allow yourself the pleasure of once again going out into your future self to that point where you've created the body you want. And notice the way you move and the way you breathe. The energy, the feeling of achievement, the confidence. Notice the way you move. Now waking up in the morning, energised, going about your day with a new energy and that feeling of confidence and achievement an absolute understanding of just how incredible you are, how fantastic you are as a human being, as a person, as a being. Now step into that body once again and feel into it. Feel into that feeling, maybe remembering those times in your life when you absolutely knew just how incredible you are. Feel into that now. Get a sense of it. And look back to this moment in time and notice all the things you did along the way that led to that wonderful feeling. The decisions you made the changes you made, the things you did that led to that wonderful feeling of confidence and achievement. And the unconscious mind can allow those changes to occur while the conscious mind continues to drift further and further away from yourself. And as you drift deeper and deeper, my voice, my words are going to drift with you to become a part of your experience now. Every word I say takes you deeper and deeper into that incredible space. Get a sense of that happening automatically. Imagine there's nothing you can do about that. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
20, 100 times deeper than before. And just when you think you've reached the ultimate space of trance and profound hypnosis, my voice, my words are going to take you 10 times deeper. Imagine there's nothing you can do about that. Every word I say doubles that feeling. Everything I say now is your reality. Every suggestion I give you, your mind and body will act upon at a molecular, cellular, neurological level is now your reality. You have a conscious mind and an unconscious mind. And that unconscious mind, the back of your mind, that instinctive, intuitive part of your being that knows exactly who you are and what you can achieve, that unconscious part of your mind can continue to hear, to understand, respond to those things I might say without the need for you to do anything at all. It's so much easier for the conscious mind simply to relax and enjoy that letting go. That's right. Letting go even of the effort it takes to make the effort that it might take. To tell the exact position of arms, legs or the entire body now that seems to drift through time and space. that wonderful free floating place of effortless relaxation and letting go. Allowing events to occur in their own time, in their own way, as you drift as a mind. And that mind drifts without boundaries, without borders, without limits, You are the most incredible creation in this known universe. You are incredible. You are unique. In the history of mankind, there have been a hundred billion people on planet Earth. There's only ever been one of you. You are unique. There has never been another you. How incredible are you? Get a sense of that now as you leave that body in that chair for a while. Less and less aware of yourself as a physical being, but totally aware of yourself as a mind. And that mind just drifts through space and time. No boundaries, no borders, no limits. Get a sense of that now. How incredible are you? because you are incredible. And the essence of who you are is pure love, pure joy, and pure light. That is who you are. Get a sense of that now. For a moment, think about the people you love and the people that love you. Think about the people you've helped along the way with your words, your kindness, your love whose lives are different now because of you. And just for a moment, as you look at that body in that chair from way off, show it some love and appreciation. How incredible is that body? Think about the things that your body's enabled you to do. The people you've met, the places you've been, the pleasure you've felt, for some of you, that body in that chair has created another human being. And think about that child. How incredible are you? And just for a moment, understand you are worthy of the same love. And so as you drift deeper and deeper now, even deeper than before, you can use your unconscious mind as a resource you can learn from. Really have an experience, one that's satisfactory to you. All that's needed to build a good rapport with the unconscious is to have a line of communication. 
an unconscious, honest communication between your unconscious mind and your higher self. And sometimes the unconscious communicates by movement. It may be that your eye reflex changes and your eyes flicker, or your head moves slightly, or a muscle twitches involuntarily. That's right. It may be that the left hand moves all by itself, starts to get lighter and lighter, starts to drift up, or the right arm goes even higher. It may be that you just go deeper, deeper down into the most profound state of hypnosis. Only the unconscious mind knows which it will use. Because the unconscious mind knows more about you than anyone else. And so as you drift even deeper into that beautiful space, 10, 20, 100 times deeper, I'd like your unconscious mind to search and find something you'd love to achieve, a physical goal that you'd love to achieve, a way you'd love to feel, maybe the way you'd love to look, but something that you'd love to achieve that is of vital and utmost importance to your health, your energy, your confidence, your self-esteem. And when the unconscious mind has found that one thing, I'd like it to allow you to know, that's right, eyes flickering, body moving, allow you to know an unconscious, honest, unconscious signal to occur. And you'll know before I do, as that movement begins, one thing you'd love to achieve, a physical goal you'd love to achieve, maybe it's just a feeling of well-being. Maybe it's to lose some weight or gain some weight or put on some muscle or tone up. But one thing that you would love to achieve, and when it's found that, I'd like it to increase those signals, take you even deeper. That's right, body moving, muscles twitching, breathing changing. And now I'd like your unconscious mind to hand over those signals to that part of you that is responsible for your physical body. That part of you that runs your immune system, that automatic healing ability, that part of you that runs your physical motivation to be well. And when that part has taken full control of those signals, I'd like it to increase those signals so you and I understand that's right. And even as you become aware of that movement, that feeling increases. Now I'd like to ask that part to go to your creative mind, the part of you that dreams and has ideas and makes plans. And allow that wonderful creative mind to run and flow and work, to tap into that natural intelligence you were born with, your instinctive behavior, to eat the right foods, to drink the right water, to treat your body to the movement it desires and needs. That part of you that's there for your physical health and well being to run, fly, and work, come up with lots of new choices some wonderful foods that will lead you to your physical goal, fun ways of moving that will lead you to that physical goal, changes in your mind that will lead you to that beautiful space. And each time it identifies a new choice, I want it to increase those signals. So that's right, so you and I know. That's right, 10, 20, 100 new choices now. Wonderful foods that will lead you to that feeling of health and well-being. Fun ways of moving that will lead you to that beautiful goal. It's working brilliantly for you. And as that part searches now, I'd love you to have the experience once again, a feeling of total liberation. It's in a moment, the essence of who you are, an intangible part of a human being, the passenger, the observer in that physical form is going to separate from that body in that chair. It will be the most incredible feeling of liberation and freedom. Get a sense of it happening now. Imagine it's happening. There's nothing you can do about it. Just drifting up out of your body and away from your body. And once again, as you drift away from your body, look back at that body in that chair and show it some appreciation because it is the most incredible creation. 
You are beautiful. You are love. You are loved. You are loving. Get a sense of it now as you drift away. And notice once again that the essence of who you are is ageless. It doesn't matter what happens to that body in that chair. The essence of who you are is ageless. It's infinite. It has no edge. Get a sense of that now. How incredible are you? Get a sense of drifting higher and higher, drifting up out of that building you're in, drifting up into that sky, just drifting higher and higher like a helium balloon that some young girl has let go of in the park, just drifting up into that sky. Higher and higher, leaving all earthly ties behind. The essence of who you are is infinite. Get a sense of drifting so high now, you could actually look back at this beautiful planet we live on. See the whites of the clouds, the whites of the mountain tops, the greens of the forest, the blues of the ocean. Get a sense of that beautiful planet just spinning in space. How lucky are we to have landed on this planet? Of all the planets in the universe and all the universes, we've landed on this planet. How incredibly lucky are we? And notice as you look at that planet from way off, I say your perspective changes. You may think about the 7.8 billion people on that planet, of which you are one, one unique, incredible individual. And I say your perspective changes. How things that used to be used to be overwhelming no longer have any power over you. Things that had seemed hard or difficult to achieve no longer have any power over you. Of course you can create the body you want because you want it. You want to feel that good. You want to have that feeling of achievement. And it's your birthright. Things that had seemed overwhelming no longer have any power over you. Things that had seemed hard or difficult to overcome no longer have any power over you. Now in your mind's eye, get a sense of a target, a massive target between you and that beautiful planet. A massive target between you and that planet. See the coloured bands, get the centre, the bullseye. Now in the centre of that target is the most incredible feeling of unconditional self-love. That centre of that target is flooded with the most incredible feeling of unconditional self-love. In a moment, I'm going to make this sound. As I'll make that sound, you'll be fired, shot like an arrow, straight through the centre of that target. And as you go through the target, your mind and body will be flooded with the most intense, incredible feeling of unconditional self-love. It will be incredible. Some of you may have never experienced that feeling before, but I want you to know that you are worthy of it. And I want you to know, as I make that sound, you'll have no, no way of avoiding it. Your body and mind is going to be flooded with the most incredible feeling of unconditional self-love. And you'll have no choice in it. So get ready. As I make that sound, you're going to be fired, shot like an arrow straight through that target. Your mind and body will be flooded with that incredible, wonderful feeling of unconditional self-love. Get ready. Now you're out the other side, just drifting in that space. Your mind and body flooded with the most incredible feeling of unconditional self-love. Because you are love. The essence of who you are is love. Pure light, pure joy, pure love. You are loved and you are loved and you are loving. Get a sense of that now, feel into it. And as your mind and body are flooded with that incredible, intense feeling of unconditional self-love, 
make the decision to create the body you want, to create the happiness you want, to create the health you want. Make that decision now. And now it's okay to love yourself, to show yourself the same kindness and love that you show to the other people in your life. Want for yourself what you want for your children, your partner, your friend. No, it's okay to want that for yourself. Because from today, you will find yourself moving toward that body you want. Automatically, instinctively. Because now you know how good you're going to feel. And now you know you are worthy of treating yourself to that life. Everything about your nature is now inclined toward making it happen. You'll find yourself enjoying your life even more. Enjoying your food even more. Because now instinctively, automatically, you will eat the right foods that serve your purpose. And you'll become a connoisseur. A connoisseur of the food you eat. A connoisseur of life itself. Get a sense of that now. Absolute wonderful feeling of freedom. And notice as your body's flooded with that feeling of unconditional self-love, that every doubt, every limiting belief, every negative thought that was placed on you about your ability to create the body you want, notice that every one of those limiting beliefs and negative thoughts has gone because it can no longer exist in your body and mind with that feeling of unconditional self-love. It cannot coexist in your body and mind with that feeling. And the harder you try to remember what it felt like to doubt yourself, the further away those thoughts go, replaced by a new understanding of your worth and your value. Not just to yourself, but to the people you love. The people you help. The people whose lives are different because you're in it. From today, you will look after yourself. You'll be kind to yourself. And you'll treat your body with the love that it deserves. Because you are worthy. You are worthy of that love. And from today, if ever anyone tries to place any doubt on you, there'll be someone standing right beside you, my arm around your shoulder, whispering in your ear, you are loved, you are loved, and you are loving, and you are worthy of creating the life you want. And you'll know that I believe it, you know it's true. Get a sense of that now. Feel into it. As you drift in that space, that beautiful space of unconditional love. Make that decision to start now. And prepare to be amazed at the changes in your mind and body. Something that has seemed overwhelming no longer has any power over you. Something that has seemed hard to do turns out to be surprisingly easy. You're going to enjoy your life even more, enjoy your food even more. And you're going to become a connoisseur of everything in your life. To take the time to taste your food and enjoy it even more. Take the time to enjoy the sunlight, the rain, the smell of the perfume of the flowers around you. To notice and enjoy the people around you. To allow yourself to feel love, to be loved, and to love. 
How incredible are you? Get a sense of that now. Your body's already changing at a molecular cellular level. You can feel it, feel those changes taking place in your body. We're gonna serve you, help you create that body you want. I'd like to ask that part now, responsible for your body, for your health. To pick as many new choices as possible, wonderful foods that will serve you, that will lead you to that goal that you wrote down earlier. Find ways of moving that will get your heart working, get your body working, that will lead you to that goal in a fun and enjoyable way. I want it to make those choices now. I want it to do it, done that. I want it to allow you to know by allowing that signal to occur even more clearly. Now I'd like to ask that part to integrate these new choices into your body and mind at a molecular, cellular, neurological level. When it's done that complete, that's right. Allow that signal to increase so you understand that those changes have taken place. Get a sense that it's happened. Imagine there's nothing you can do about it. You'll find yourself just moving toward that body that you want, to the health that you want, creating that happiness you want. Get a sense of that now. Once again, go out into the future. See yourself there. Step into that body. How good does it feel? to create the body you want. How much fun is it? Because now everything about you is inclined towards making it happen. Imagine you have no choice now. It's just the way it is and you're gonna have fun doing it. Enjoying your life even more, enjoying your food even more, enjoying everything even more. as you create the body, the health, the happiness you want. Go with your unconscious often as you need to, to know that you're free. Free to be, free to enjoy, free to be enjoyed, free to love and be loved. Get a sense of that now, because you are loved, you are loved and you are loving. Feel into it. Only when the unconscious mind knows and has made those changes at a molecular, cellular, neurological level and allows the conscious mind to accept the changes made. Because in a moment, I'm going to count to 10. Every suggestion I've given you, your mind and body will act upon. Without hesitation, it's now your reality. On eight, your eyes will open. You are going to feel incredible because you are incredible. And on 10, that feeling of freedom and unconditional self-love is going to grow stronger day by day as you create the body you want without even trying. Because now you've made those changes. Imagine there's nothing you can do about that. You want your body back. You want that feeling of health. You want to enjoy your life even more. So get ready as I count to 10 or eight, your eyes will open. Every suggestion I've given you, your mind and body will act upon. And on 10, that wonderful feeling of freedom, unconditional self-love. It's going to grow stronger day by day. One, feeling absolutely wonderful now. Two, to create the body, the health, the happiness you want and do it brilliantly. Three, a feeling of freedom from every limiting belief that ever held you back. Four, feel the force of that new energy and freedom and love flooding your body and mind, lighting you up, lifting you up, taking you into a world of empowerment. Five, feeling incredibly alive now. Six, seven, eight, eyes opening, feeling absolutely incredible. Nine, ten. Excellent. That's right, Chrissy. Stretch. It's like she's like getting preparing herself. It's like she's going for a run. She's like ready to go. 
Excellent. Okay. Alexandra is back with us. It's good. The little dog's back with us. The little dog was hypnotized. See that? All right, look, I hope you enjoyed the experience. I'm going to do this maybe every fortnight, but it might not be one, this next fortnight because I'm at, at the retreat and I'm going to be enjoying myself on Friday night. But uh, we're going to have um, a few people coming along, do some presentations for us to talk to you. As I said to you on that little thing, I haven't even spoken to them yet, but I've got some hypnotic experience. I can hypnotise them into doing this for you. Um, so we get some great people along and I'll speak to them and get them along for you. Look, I hope you enjoyed it. Stay focused on... No, you don't have to stay focused anymore. Just relax into it. You'll find yourself moving towards your physical goal, like it or not, because you've been hypnotised. Hard luck. <laughs> You asked for it, now you've got it, right? It's great to see you all. And I say, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a beautiful weekend and hopefully I'll see you soon, all right? And I'll see you, I'll let you know. I'll post on our, on our, our if you're not already part of the Creating a Body Health and Happiness group, Facebook group, just um, go and join up or don't, it's just ask to join. And then when I, when we create the next, uh, the next date, You'll see it on there. It'll come to you. It'll be um, delivered to you, okay? Right, okay. Have a beautiful week. Any questions before we go? Or are you just happy to go now? Uh, all I can say is that was much needed, Freddie. Well, it's great to see you, Willie. It's great to see you. Too. And, uh, Too. I hope everything's good in your world. One day, okay. we'll all meet in person. That'll be a great day for me. For sure, for sure. Make it happen. <laughs> all, right. all right, I'll see you all soon, all right? Thank, Thank you, Freddie. Thank you, Freddie. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Thank you, Thank you. You are loving. You are loving. Bye. 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 Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.